many people have a smartphone with them? Yeah, all of us pretty much. We have smartphones, we have tablets, we have all these devices that connect us. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize how, how this really affects our lives and how we're going down the tubes of doom in our lives. Um, many companies, many people are looking at AI and don't understand what artificial intelligence is and how it affects our lives and how we are so ingrained of it. Many of us watched the movie Matrix and they saw the, and they saw the guy explaining how we destroyed, how we had to fight the machines and we blew up the sun and covered our, and, we turn, and the machines turned us into batteries. Or they watched the Terminator and they watched these big, big monster robots, killer robots. And a lot of people in AI are all cut off about killer robots. I love killer robots, they're so cool. <laughs> but killer robots are not what we need to be concerned about. Because killer robots are, are easy to deal with. They're robots. You can kill, they kill you or you kill them. It's really easy. But what we cannot, we, we cannot get away from is the metadata, the data. Metadata or, or is, a, is data about data. So I deal in the motion picture industry. And we are so caught up in metadata. Disney is humongously caught up in metadata. They, most of the companies, Amazon and Netflix and Disney and all these companies, if you make a movie and you don't have really proper metadata in your movie, it is worth a third to a, of, of what the normal movie would be worth. You can have this great movie, and if you don't have proper metadata, it's not worth it. An example of this is if you go on, if you have Amazon, and you go on the screen, you put your mouse on the screen, it tells you everybody who's playing in that movie. And you can click on them and find out what they are and find out who they are and click on their information. That is metadata, that's data about data. Now, how does that really affect and control my life? So, you have this device, your, your daughters are at home, they have their tablet, and their tablet is logged into the Disney app, <laughs> and the Disney app is connected to your, to your TV, and, your, and, and that data is sending data from the Disney app to your TV back to the big big brother guy in the sky. So you're connecting. We all, we all, we all got scared and, and crazy when Cambridge Analytics con, you know, convinced us to, you know, to vote this way or vote that way. But, and they all got in trouble and Cambridge Analytics went out of business. But there are hundreds of Cambridge Analytics companies that are playing it a lot smarter than Cambridge Analytics, which is keeping their mouth shut about what they're doing. Facebook got in trouble with Doing some, doing some of this metadata stuff. But all of them do it. Every corporation is doing this. They're collecting your data. They know when you're sitting in front of your TV. They know when you go to the bathroom. They know when you go down the street to Target and buy something. They know what you buy at Target. They know how, how long you're in your car. They know every single thing about you is being, is being pulled in. Every single day, Enough, the data collected on every single person in this room is if you were to put it on a piece of paper, each piece of data about every person is collected every day on each person, you would fill up enough eight and a half or 11 pages if you did it like 12 point type and you did single space, that it would go from the earth to the sun four times. Wow. That's how much data is collected on each one of you every single day. And that data is being put in, and that data is not just being stored and ignored. That data is being analyzed and cataloged. And we know how to manipulate. And, and it's important for me to say, we, we are all turning in to lemmings. Now, do you know what a lemming is? It's just a guy who follows the, follows the guy behind them until they walk off the edge of the cliff into the abyss. So we're not, so killer robots are not the scary thing. Because you can fight a killer robot. What you cannot fight is mind control and people control. So they're controlling you, the, the big companies, big corporations are sitting there and they're controlling everything they do by giving you information. We all think of fake news, fake news, fake news. Mm -hmm. We've been dealing with fake news for a while. Before that Trumpy guy said it, there was, uh, there was, he didn't invent it, okay? He did not invent it, okay? As much as he wants to, he didn't. He invented it just as much as Gore invented the internet, okay? okay? So, you know, this data is telling us what, and they're giving us information, they're telling us things. They're going on, they're telling their daughters 
your daughter is sitting in front of the TV, they're pushing data to your daughter. They're gonna push an ad that's gonna, all of a sudden the TV is gonna have a, a, a information that's gonna relate to your daughter and going to gradually and slowly change your daughter's perception on things. And your daughter's gonna come up and say, Daddy, I like Trump. <laughs> you know, or I like this, or I want to go to Disneyland, or I want to go to this, or I want to go to that, and I want to buy that toy. And that, and they're changing our perception slowly. You know, when I was in the military, the military was all about communism, commies, 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 commies. I was in the day we fought the commies, and they brainwashed mm -hmm. all the soldiers, Ivan. Kill Ivan. Ivan's horrible. Ivan's evil. And communism is evil. And we all fought communism. We fought communism. Why did we fight communism? What was, com there, you know, communism was the enemy we needed. Before there was communism, there was Nazis. You know, and we all got brainwashed to fight the Nazis. Nazis were bad. Can't, I, I, I'm a Jew. I, well, I hate Nazis. But the thing is, is that we always need an enemy. We always need something to focus our attention on. We always need something to talk about. And this is the scary part, is that we don't understand. You cannot fight thought control. It's hard to fight thought control. I can kill a, a, a killer robot. I cannot kill a thought. I cannot kill mind control. And that is what metadata is in. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about. I'm going actually up to uh, Northern California to talk to a big conference with uh, Elon Musk and, the, and, and uh, uh, Larry Ellison and many of the big giant CEOs who are involved in the AI industry. And I'm involved in the industry because I deal with metadata and, and asset management. And so that's what I do. Asset management is data about data. So I am going to be talking to these people about this. It's a 30 minute talk and I'm just doing this to get some ideas and talking about this thing. So I thank you so much for listening to me, and I and I tell you right now, we're all doing it. <laughs>